Good morning, Tightliners. Welcome back to the channel. Here we go, guys. First cast fish. Fishing at a local rock mark. An hour to go before low water. I had the peeler crab on here. Haven't had a chance to set the camera up properly. What have we got? I reckon it's probably a dog. Is it a dog? Yeah, it is a dog. Right, so first fish, guys, a dog. So there's the blank out of the way. Yeah. So like I said, fishing this local mark, first thing in the morning, it's around about half past five now. Fantastic time to be out. Anyway, I'll deal with this dogfish. And I'll uh, I'll bring you back. Goyachin doll. There we go, guys. Dogfish. Yeah, it's taking that crab. Properly taking it as well. Anyway, I'll set things up properly, and I'll bring you back. Goyachin doll. Pend with the set up with a bunny goyal. Normal chadig. Right, guys. Let's do this properly now. So yeah, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel and obviously welcome to any new viewers as well. Um, for any new viewers who are tuning in for the first time, my name's Kirion. Um channel's been going since February, so if you want to go back, um, February uh, last year that is of course, if you want to go back and check them out, it'd be brilliant guys. Um, yeah, fishing a very popular mark today, uh, using Limitless Tuo Avenger hook with the circle, offset circle, on up and overs, using the Trident gear for the up and over. Yeah, so that one dog first cast, um, that was caught on peeler crab. Um, targets really, thornback rays. There is a chance of a bass here, Adrian had the bass here one time last year, and on the same session that we were here, another fella had one as well. So it is possible. Obviously there could be a huss. Uh, fishing now, fishing the tide down since I got here. Um, low water is around about 6.35, something like that, which is now about 20 minutes away. Intentions now is to put a third rod in, fishing it more into the bay worm baits and things like that, see what else, what other bits we can pick up. Hopefully the dogfish won't be a plague all day, I won't be here all day, fish until about nine o'clock. Anyway, let's get this one baited up, ready, and then get the third rod out ready. Vela Rarver, Oh, so it's not right. So, very quiet on the uh, bigger baits. So on the on the other rods there now, what I've got is I've got a peeler crab on one, and I've got a bluey and squid on the other. So what I'm going to do now on the third one, on a one up, one down, like I showed you the other week, the bottom hook comes in line, clips into the rotor. And then when it undoes, it slips down like that. So two worm baits, put it into the bay just to see what other bits are around. Any dabs, any other flatties. Like I said, chance of a bass. Um, yeah, anything really. Gurnards. And these are 1-0 
Aberdeen's XT Ultra Point hooks from Limitless. Guys, go and check their website out. Fantastic gear. Yeah, the hooks are amazing, guys. Really are. There we go. Two hooks. Some nice worm on there. Right, let's cast it into the bay over here. Right, let's see what that brings. Sorcerer of Earth, Birkin Doll. Guys, the other thing I want to talk to you about today is the merchandise. It's on, guys. So, um, I will be looking now to take orders. Um, what I'll do is I'll leave some details in the description of this video. Probably looking at something like £35 for a hoodie plus postage and packaging. Um, and about £10 for a beanie. So, guys, if you're interested, leave me a message. You can DM me on Messenger, Facebook, if you like. Um, and we'll organise some payment details. Probably pay by PayPal. Yeah. So that's in the pipeline. I've been to see the supplier and we've uh, come up with a deal. Also still looking for a supplier for a bucket hat type thing. For the summer. So uh, yeah, interesting stuff happening. Like I said, don't forget to go and check out Limitless as well. Right, back to the fishing. Saucer of Beth, Larkin Doll. Well, guys, the bluey and squid came back stripped. I was getting little taps like this there. I think there could be spider crabs down there. I know that I've seen it on somebody else's channel the other day, Tommy Joe's. So if you uh, if you haven't seen Tommy Joe's video, um, his channel is Fishing and Country Life with Tommy Joe. Go and check it out. Good guy, guys. Yeah. Um, anyway, came back absolutely stiff. Let's get another one in now. This is a bit of mackerel and squid together. Right, I was telling you about spider crabs. Well, there we go. Look at the size on this. Look at the claws on that, guys. Now then, this one is going to come home with me. I'm not going to eat it myself. But my next door neighbour, his wife, loves these. Um, and he did me a good turn the other day. Um, I was locked out of one of my sheds. The padlock had completely seized up. Um, and I snapped the key in it as well. So uh, I had to get him to put a grinder on it to get it open. She loves these, so that's a thank you to them. Yeah. Huge thing. Heavy. I thought I had a fish on <laughs> to begin with. But yeah, anyway, that's not going to go to waste. That'll go home with me. 
Right, so I'm just going to put it in a pool here for now and I'll pick it up in a bit. No, I'm going dig. Well, guys, a second one. This one's even bigger. Oh, it feels heavier anyway. Look at that. Absolute nuts, these things. <laughs> this one as well, we'll go to collect next door. Anyway, still no fish to report though. Just had a slight knock now on the uh, scratching rig. Just keeping an eye on that now, see what's going on. So I put a Joey mackerel out now. Probably attract more of these fellas. <laughs> no, I'm not a dig. I hope there's not too many more of them. Where are the rays? Anyway, <laughs> kind of it all. I suppose. No, I'm not Well, guys, that was a ting on that one. <laughs> Just heard some line being pulled off my reel there now. I don't know if the drag was too loose and it was just the tide. We'll keep an eye and see what's happening. So, sir, Beth, Bella, Edward, Doig, and Doll. This is very slow, guys. So, I've. Uh, Anyway, I put that whiting on now on a hook ready next for the next cast. I'm going to give it another hour, see what happens. Doesn't seem to be doing anything today. That's how we go sometimes. Don't forget, guys, the merch. Yeah, thirty-five pound plus postage and packaging. I'll leave the um, in information in the uh, description box. Please like and subscribe. Oh, there's a bite on the scratching rig now. Right, let's see if there's anything on here. Nothing that time. Let's get it baited up once more and sent it out and uh, well, you can only try. It just could be something there. No more dig. Hey guys, I'm gonna start winding this one up now. Scratching rig's been put away or scratching rod's been put away. Um, start winding these in now. Not happening this morning. Very disappointing session, really. Thought there might be a ray or two here on the flood side today. The baits have just been mullered by the crabs.
Oh well, try again another time. Been blunt. And I got a couple of nice crabs to take to my neighbours. One thing you should always do, guys, when you've been somewhere where there's spider crab, is to check your hook lengths to see how damaged they are. Now, I'm not going to put this one back on the winder because I can feel there's a few nicks in it. And for some strange reason, there's a knot there even that's managed to get in there. Don't know how that happened. So anyway, this one's not going to go back on the rig winder. This one needs a new hook length. So sort of both working dog. Right guys, end of session there. Oh, Snag on something now. Must have gone us up on the only bit of reek out there. This one's completely stuck. Anyway, bring it back. Well, guys, a disappointing session comes to a close there. That lot just burst off big time. Um, match on the break quarter tomorrow. Probably expect more of the same. Um, yeah. Don't forget, guys, hit the like and subscribe. I know that one wasn't a brilliant session, despite the crabs being the, probably the highlight. Um, yeah, there will be better sessions again, there have been, and there will be again. So anyway guys, don't forget merch as well, drop me a, drop me a message, sizes, and I'll, I'll drop a message as well, how to go about paying for them. Until the next time guys, keep your lines tight.